Hello and welcome to my off-grid solar system. Uh, I'm actually based in the UK, so we are limited to the amount of sunshine that we do get. So this system actually runs from March all the way through to October. Now I have three panels here which I bought second hand. Uh, paid £80 each for those. Uh, they was only one year old when I bought them. Uh, they are connected in series giving me 875 watts now the actual uh, PV cable runs down the back of the guttering underneath the decking and then over to what we effectively have a four foot by three foot uh, plastic shed which is a, obviously adjacent from the actual building so if there's any issues whatsoever uh, it's all contained in one small area. Now if we just look back here we can just give you a quick look at what I've actually got. And then we'll go through everything what's inside. Now then, I do have two boxes. Uh, this one is redundant at the minute which if I wanted to use the actual inverter as a charging system I could do. But at the moment, I'm actually running through the Vitron Energy MPP uh, solar controller for reasons I will explain in a moment. So the actual power from the solar comes into this cut-off unit, uh, which I can isolate at any time. Obviously, as you can see at the moment, it is actually on. The cable runs down through a 60 amp fuse and then straight into the uh, solar charger. Now the reason I use this charger is because it is Bluetooth and I do have a iPod, iPad sorry. Um, so this is the only way I can actually monitor the system whereas with the MPP solar it uses an Ethernet cable uh, obviously I don't have a laptop or anything like that so I wouldn't be able to monitor my system properly. So when the wire comes out of here it runs straight all the way down, all the way down into the battery box. So I'll just open this battery box up for yourself. So inside here I have eight uh, six volt batteries connected in series then to parallel. Uh, giving me approximately around about, I'd say 500 amp hours of power. Now obviously I don't drop these anywhere below 50% or anything like that. I do have it all cut off the old system so when it gets to around about 24.6 volts it will, it will switch over back to mains automatically. Okay, now I've got some testing equipment there. I do test my batteries on a regular basis. Obviously I do top them up. Uh, do equalise them every six months. Uh, but like I say, I do. Uh, I have had this running for the last four years, and I've had no problems whatsoever. Again, under the bottom here, I've got another 60 amp fuse. So everything is fused properly, um, and again, I've had no issues whatsoever. Uh, for people who moan about hydrogen gas that's being given off, I'll just explain. This this tube here, which runs into the actual battery box, goes all the way up and ventilates out the back of the actual shed so I have no issues with hydrogen gas at all uh, even though it is a small enclosure I have no issues at all so then the power comes out of these two cables here up into the cut off again for my battery straight then into the MPP solar inverter now the inverter is also a 60 amp charge controller but like I've said I don't use this as a charge controller, it's just used as solely in uh, the inverter side. So when the power comes out of the inverter, it goes into this changeover switch. Now if you have a quick look at the changeover switch, you can see that it's on generation now and it's, uh, you know, we're on solar. So basically if I have a couple of days of uh, bad weather for instance and my batteries aren't being charged I can flip this straight straight the way back over straight back onto the grid and I'm still with power so when it comes out of this unit then it goes into my trips so have a quick look in here I have two trips 
because I have made up two ring mains from this one's from a lighting on the whole house and the other one is for um, five sockets which control all the TVs um, the computers uh, we can use the, the hoover off it Every, everything basically in the house can run off this system uh, everything but the kitchen basically because it would deplete the batteries too fast and uh, we don't want that to happen so obviously the two ring mains actually run straight out of here I've got a battery conditioner whether these work or not I don't know but it's just something that I actually purchased uh, from watching another YouTuber use one um, so it's just there to safeguard my batteries as well to desulfate them but like I said it's been running for the last four years and I've had no issues whatsoever if you also have a look up the top here I've also got a 12 volt system now this 12 volt system is to power all my outside gardening lights which obviously are set on a timer so the power comes into into this into 24 volts drops it down to 12 volts back into the timer and then when the timer comes on it will turn all the lights on in the garden now I can actually manual switch this on it turns on there we go it's switched on and if I have a quick look now look all the lights are actually switched on but this is also like I say set on automatic so it will turn them on at around about 8 o'clock at night I have got a sensor uh, there to sense the uh, how much heat's actually in the batteries and make sure they're not too cold, not too hot, etc. I've got an internal fan, so when the actual uh, doors are shut during the day, it's not getting too warm in here because it is vented both sides. And that uh, that fan there is actually controlled from this little solar panel here. Okay, so the actual power comes from out to the, the trips straight again under the decking move out the way of the barbecue down the side of the house as you can see and there's the two rings so basically one's going into the spare bedroom for the computer it comes out of the computer socket straight up straight into the loft where I do do the actual uh, the lighting and the separate ring main for everything else that I require to be used from solar. Um, if I just nip inside, I'll explain. There's the old daft dog. So at the moment, we've actually got the TV on, uh, which is running from solar. I have loads of light in this this room here, which is all again LED lighting all the way around. And I also have LED lighting over here. So again, if I switch all my lights on, switch these lights on. And obviously because we're in full sun at the moment, we do have loads of power still. So this, this is also a battery monitor as well. Uh, I'm not really impressed with this battery monitor. But it saves me going outside every five minutes and seeing what the actual, uh, you know, the battery status is. Even though I've got Bluetooth onto my iPad, uh, I can check all the battery stats and everything and see how it's going. But before I did all this, before I had the iPad, this was the only way out to uh, monitor my batteries. So I hope this helps. Any questions, I'll try to answer anybody. Uh, but like I say, we've been running for the last four years. Uh, I have four three TVs, one computer running off the TV. Like I say, all the lights in the house uh, are all connected. If the wife wants to use the vacuum, she can use that. Obviously all the, everything gets charged off solar, um, but everything is low consumption. All the TVs and everything, I have really low draw on. So like I say, any, any issues, anyone else ask for any questions, I will try and help and do my best. Thank you.